Dubai had a very clear plan on how to deal with this. As I said, we shut down when we needed to, and since we've opened, we've followed the data. All the different entities in Dubai work extremely closely together to look at the numbers. If we see compliance, we don't need to tighten, regardless of what anybody says. If we don't see compliance at any part of the economy, and again, we do look at this very carefully, sector by sector and subsector, to see where do we need to tighten and where do we need to um, lift the restrictions. And that will continue. It's nothing to do with what anybody else tells us because there's a very clear plan. In July, I covered the reopening. It seemed very measured. It didn't seem as measured in December, or is that the global perception? Look, first of all, I think we need to look at the numbers, right? How many tourists came to Dubai? There's a little misconception about that we're hearing. We started off in July with 40,000 tourists. We ended in December with 560,000. 560,000 may seem a large number, but when we used to welcoming over 1.5 million visitors in, De in December every year, uh, that's only a third of the usual numbers. So Dubai definitely wasn't full by any stretch of the imagination. Additionally, the protocols were continually tracked and anybody who over the course of uh, over the course of late december beginning of january over 25 establishments got closed because of a lack of compliance so nothing has changed with the way we approach things we approach things in a very measured fashion but it's our philosophy that we should work through this pandemic keep open keep everybody safe and make sure we work closely with the industry to ensure that compliance happens in a, in a credible way you had a record spike to nearly 4,000 cases a day, which is almost quadruple what we saw in November. What's driving that spike then? Data shows that it's linked directly to compliance. When we had a 98 to 99% compliance, we didn't see any spike. When that dropped by four to five percentage points, we saw numbers go up. It, it tells us what we're doing is right. We need to tighten, we need to ensure there's compliance, and then we can relax again. Where you stand today with vaccinations and that pace, do you think you'll be comfortable enough to welcome the world here in the fourth quarter for World Expo? 100%. We're very confident under the leadership of the UAE with the current rollout program, with all the precautionary measures in place, we feel very confident that we're going to be ready. We're going to be ready, for this. We're going to be ready to make sure that the growth starts this summer and by Expo and Q4, we look to welcome the world.